this is it we're wiring the boat i'm going to show you how we're going to do the electrical on this boat so today's install is going to be real basic there's going to be a one-on-one -on, -one on just installing your basics in marina electronics and this is how i do it i'm not a professional but if you want to you know copy or you know take a take advice that's up to you but this is how we're gonna wire the boat but basically what we're gonna do today is real simple it's gonna be the batteries the acr right the add a battery kit the fuse box and the wiring from the batteries to the acr how we wire that up and then run it all the way to the front of the boat or to the uh, fuse block um, and i'm going to show you all the things that i use now i'm going to go real quickly over all the things that we have here today all right so first off we're going to start off with the batteries we have two group 27 batteries we have a deep cycle and we have a starting battery so there, there's one battery for the motor and one battery for the house right and this is going to be the uh, battery trays that they're going to go on and then we have the fuse box terminals with their fuses we have the wiring that's going to go from the battery to the acr which is over here and then the wiring as you can tell here the kit already shows you pretty much how to wire it these are the fuses that we're going to need and then we're going to run to our cables and then to the front of the boat or to the fuse block we got six gauge that's going to run all the way to the front with its, with its 30 amp breaker that goes to the fuse block um, i didn't skimp on the the acr kit the fuse block the fuses and the uh this terminal fuse block over here i didn't skip on those i got uh blue sea systems which is pretty good so first step we got the batteries we got the house we have the starting battery I'm gonna go in their cubbies one over here one over here and we're gonna put them put them on these battery trays that way they're secure and they will move around so i redid this this piece over here with some um uh, some plywood and some fiberglass a couple layers of 1708 uh, we got our silicone our stainless steel screws and let's get that thing installed Okay. let's install install the acr i think we're going to put it right where the old switch was which was right here it's supposed to be as close to the starting battery as possible all right so instead of mounting our acr and our ground to the transom we're gonna i made this bracket okay that we're gonna mount the switch the acr and the uh, negative bus bar too and that'll be one piece that'll go up in here up in there just like that these terminal fuse blocks go directly on the battery and they go from the house and start battery to the acr to this guy and they require from the research that i i looked up from what it recommends an 80 amp fuse it's a little confusing because it doesn't really tell you on here i had to look it up um, so you have an 80 amp fuse that goes from the house and start battery that's why there's two they go straight to the acr to protect i guess to protect the acr we're gonna put those in now and this is how you install these fuses according to the instructions washer and then our cable will attach here you can get one of these crimpers um, I got this at Harbor Freight it was like 50 bucks or something like that but you're gonna need one of these to crimp this guy We're going to be putting the cable. This is two uh, cable, and we're going to be doing the house battery with the fuse, which is this guy right here. 
the 80 amp fuse that's going to be going to the ACR. And we're gonna run those wires to the ACR. Do that now. We already did this cable, which is this guy that goes to the ACR. It's coming from the house to the ACR. Now we're gonna put in the start battery cable that connects to the fuse from the start battery to the fuse to the ACR. And that's what we're gonna connect right now. These two cables, I'm gonna run to the ACR, one side and the other side, like this. So we have the fused cables, fused positive cables coming from the batteries to the ACR. And now we're going to connect the start battery to the switch, this part, which is gonna be right here, this terminal, to the switch that's gonna be mounted up here. Okay, we just installed this part, which is the starter battery that goes to the main switch up here, which is this cable here. Okay. Now this is our second wire on the house battery because we're on the house side, which is this wire here that's gonna run up to the main switch. This guy up this way. Like and subscribe. Before we continue, I'm gonna grab these wires and I'm gonna zip tie them together just to get a nice, neat, uh, line of wires going all the way across. All right, we fished the house battery cable, this one. We fished that here, and that's this cable here. It's going up. We're gonna cut this off somewhere around here. We're gonna leave this here for now until we're ready to install the whole bracket with the ACR and the switch. And now we're gonna do the grounds. We're doing the ground. We're at the house battery side, right? Which is this guy over here. And this cable is gonna go all the way to the negative bus bar. Realistically, we could connect it to the other battery since it's on the way, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do it just like the diagram. We're gonna connect it to the ne negative bus bar. We're gonna get nice and neat. So we're gonna connect it here and then fish it through this side to the other side. There, okay, good. All right, so we zip tied all these together to try to get them nice and neat. Now we're gonna come in with these clamps, these stainless steel clamps to hold this up. Up here. All right, so we've tucked away the, the, fuel, the uh, cables under here and the, uh, the fuel line, the fuel separator is gonna go here so it'll connect this way. Go along this. All right. It's a new day. We're back. We broke the ACR. We got a new one in today. And let's get started uh, where we left off. All right. So we're going to start up with, we're going to connect the starter battery fuse cable to the ACR to this side. This is the starter battery. And this is the fuse side. Starter battery. And here's the fuse side, right here, this guy. And that's gonna go to the ACR. So now we got that hooked up. That is the fused wire from the starting uh, battery, connected just like the diagram. Now let's do the house battery fused wire. House battery fused wire, connect to the ACR. Just like the diagram. House battery fused wire to the left side of the ACR. There we go, that's set up. And I had to run it underneath. And that's gonna sit right around here somewhere and the switch right up top. And a little face plate that we made. Okay, so now we're done with the ACR connections. Let's go on to the switch connections, which is the unfused, right? So no fuses. 
and we're gonna start with the star battery that's this one over here and it's gonna go up into position number one so if you just switch this around right that's position number one which is this guy okay position number one that is the unfused wire right here so this guy right here this guy connect that to position one position one starter battery let's move on to the other cable which is the uh unfused from the house so we have the house battery unfused into position number two which is the bottom which is if we look at it this way it's position number two the bottom and that's this wire right here which is our final wire there's there's the uh the last cable and that's gonna sit right up here right up there and we're gonna tighten up all these wires in a second now we have the outboard connection I'm going to switch number one up top it's gonna be this wire that comes from the motor that's gonna go into position one which is up top this guy and there she is position one and now the last one is going to be uh, position number two and that's going to be this guy here that's going to run to our 30 amp fuse through a six gauge wire and then a six gauge wire all the way to the fuse block that is in the cabin we got to rethink the position of these things because there's so many wires that they're, they're big so um, I got to figure out what's going to be the best way to mount this um, to that uh, starboard bracket. Okay, I got to figure it out. I think this is the best scenario that I could come up with right here. No space for the wires to come up the ACR. No space for these guys over here. This position is where the on switch goes to the uh, circuit breaker. And this goes to the fuse box. So I think that's enough space enough space to move the wires around this and for the ground we got the final wire in this one is position two and it goes down into the 30 amp circuit breaker that sends power to the fuse box in the cabin it's going to power all the appliances and, and all that close up the uh the switch and now before I close up the ACR and put the box around it, I need to attach this. There is a one amp fuse that goes from the ACR to ground. Uh, and what I did was I got this one amp fuse and light fuse and there's a one amp fuse in there. And that's what I'm gonna use to ground this ACR to the negative plus bar. We gotta get this side, gotta get that ground wire in there. This female side in there. And that's in. Let's go ahead and put the backing on that. All right, I think we got uh, most of it hooked up. Now I just gotta adjust this guy how high I want it, and then attach it, and I'll clean it up. All right. Well, we got it in. I'm gonna start doing all my connections. I'm gonna connect the uh, ground to the negative bus bar here. And uh, overall, it came out okay. I gotta put some liquid tape over here. I kind of burned that with the screw. And I'm gonna clean up all these wires, put some zip ties, and um, we're almost done. Just like the uh, diagram says, now we're gonna connect the uh, house or battery, the house negative, which is this over here. We're gonna connect it to the bus bar. So we're gonna get this wire, which I've already prepared, connected to the negative bus bar. So didn't mention that this bus bar is rated for 250 amps, 250 to 350, I believe. The ACR is connected to the ground with the, uh, with the fuse. Put a little tie wrap there with the fuse still accessible. So that's where it goes. So it's grounded right there. Okay, the ground is connected. I'm running out of daylight, so I have to finish this tomorrow. But um, it's coming along. Day three. We're back. Now we're going to connect the uh, ground to the bus bar. All right, we did it. There's the uh, ground for the starter battery. I put it on the second slot over here. And I put my cover on. And now I'm going to 
um, tighten up all these wires and stuff and get them organized because we're gonna run a six gauge cable from our um, circuit breaker all the way to the cabin to get power to all the appliances and uh, the switches. I clean this up a little bit. I hooked up the ground from the from the motor, all right? So that's installed there. Everything is nice and tight. Um, I also got my liquid tape, so I gotta put that on. All right, so we got our liquid tape on there. Um, tightened up all these little lines, make sure nothing's loose. The harness too. And I tucked away the battery cable back in here. Uh, make it nice and tight. The, the battery cable is a little long. And there's the, uh, there's the harness with the uh, throttle cables and shift cables. I have this extra harness here. Apparently this, this motor had two, two motors at one point, so there's two harnesses. And I picked the better of the two for, uh, for this project. I'm gonna use this line as my, as my snake for all the rest of the wires that I gotta run. All right, we're ready to run the ground and the power cables that are gonna go to the fuse box up in the front. The power cable is gonna connect to our 30 amp circuit breaker. And our ground is gonna connect to the ground bus bar right here. Okay, there's our power. There's our ground, and that's gonna supply all the power to the switches and all that. I'm getting ready to run the wires, and they're gonna come up through here, but I wanna keep these things organized, so I'm gonna use this um, this piping uh, for like household electric. Just to keep things a little organized, I'm gonna try to put this guy right here so we can run all the wires and have it all come through nice and neat and keep it safe. Cut around right here. Here you go. This old harness out. That is done. So while my cover is uh, drying from the paint, we'll test fit the uh, Blue Sea system. Here's the wiring diagram. We have our negative, and we have our positive over here. And these are the wires that are coming off that fuse from the back, that 30 amp fuse. Yeah, according to what this says, it says 125 amp max fuse. Our power to the switches, and these are the negatives so let's get that let's see where we're gonna put this i'm thinking somewhere around here to make it nice and even we're gonna have to put this a little bit higher somewhere up here to make it look nice and neat somewhere in the middle all right so here we are i know it looks a little crooked but the boat is up itself is crooked so um measure how i'm gonna put the loads here and here all right so we got our wires and the battery now we're gonna connect them i connected them with these stainless steel c clamps Padded C clamps. Now we're gonna connect up here, make them nice and even, and uh, get a nice look. We've set up our fuse box with power, and we've ran our wires, and that is basically it. Probably put a cabinet around this, eventually, just to protect it. A little cover. It also has these little, I guess, so you can write whatever the connection is for. I'm gonna keep this for later. Apologize if the video is a little bit redundant and uh, I go through things a lot. If you're like me, you need to see it, you need to hear it, you need to do it, and um, I, I like to be really thorough uh, just to make sure I do it right and like to research a lot before I get into a project like this. So if this video helped you, I appreciate it. If you subscribe, and yeah. If you have any any suggestions or anything that I might be able to to fix or or anything, please write it in the comments. In this video, we're gonna show you how we do all the appliances. So the nav lights, the anchor lights, the bilge pump. We're gonna show you how we connect that all to this. Uh, so stay tuned for that one.